Sam Bankman Freed, who has landed in the U.S. to face federal charges after being extradited from the Bahamas. The disgraced former FTX CEO, now in FBI custody and is expected to be arraigned here in New York today. This comes after prosecutors revealed two of his top associates secretly pleaded guilty to criminal charges in the collapse of the cryptocurrency exchange. Senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky joins me now live from outside the courthouse here in New York, along with the ABC News contributor and host at the Law and Crime Network, Brian Buckmeyer. Uh, so Aaron, Bankman Freed's ex-girlfriend who ran his hedge fund, Alameda Research, and FTX co-founder Gary Wang both pleaded guilty. They're cooperating with investigators. Do you think we could see more people be charged here? I think so, and prosecutors have put people on notice to say anybody who has committed any misconduct in connection with the collapse of FTX should come forward and come forward soon because we heard the U.S. attorney here say patience by the prosecutors is not going to last forever. And he said we are moving quickly and we are not done. But already the guilty pleas and the cooperation deals involving Caroline Ellison and Gary Wang give prosecutors a leg up on Sam Bankman Freed. It puts him in a much more legally perilous position because these are not just two workers at FTX. These are two close collaborators. The three of them live together in a palatial uh, condo in the Bahamas. They were in position to know about how money moved between FTX and Alameda Research, the privately controlled hedge fund uh, of Sam Bankman Freed's. So prosecutors now have insiders and Bankman Freed is expected in court should be a short time from now Alexis he's expected to plead not guilty didn't take them terribly long to turn on on Bankman Freed uh, Brian federal prosecutors say they are cooperating with investigators here how could that change the defense's strategy you can change it in a lot of ways it could change it in the sense of am I negotiating a plea because they have so much information against my client or am I willing to take this to trial either because of the credibility of those who are going to testify against my client or that they don't have all of the facts but when you talk about Ellison and Wang you're not just talking about as Aaron had said just people who are working they lived together they dated they were college friends those conversations could come back to bite Bankman Freed in, in a way that really hurts his case. Yeah, it could definitely come back to haunt him. All right, Aaron, um, Bankman Freed also facing other lawsuits here. They're piling up from the SEC, the Commission and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. What do we know about those and and um, what might how might that play into what's happening right now criminally? Well, they're separate since they're civil charges, but they do add to the narrative that we've all come to understand about what regulators and prosecutors believe about FTX, this once heralded crypto exchange known for transparency, known or at least pitched itself as a secure place to park your, your crypto investments. And regulators have said it was a house of cards almost from the start in 2019 when it was founded. The Securities and Exchange Commission, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission also filed related civil charges against Caroline Ellison and Gary Wang saying they played a significant role in the scheme that prosecutors have said was orchestrated by Bankman Freed, one of the largest financial frauds they've called it in American history. Now, Brian, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission says there are more than $8 billion in customer losses, $8 billion. Could any of these people who invested in FTX get their money back? I would say it's very unlikely for two reasons. One, when people are accused of these crimes and take this money, they unfortunately don't take that money and neatly organize it in a way that can then easily be given back to the people they robbed or they or they defrauded. Oftentimes they use that money and so therefore it's one, hard to track down and two, hard to, to, to recoup. And then that leads to the second point. If it's already spent, how does it, or how do you get the money back to people? And the little guy or little person they often are the last people to get paid out when they're when these companies go bankrupt. So unfortunately, investors might not see that money. Sadly, that is true. A long line of creditors who will probably not get much, if anything at all. Aaron Katursky, Brian Buckmeyer, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.